Yeah guys, so plasticity is just absolutely crazy and amazing and we will create like this product, this microphone from Boya. You can download this reference images, we will need them in the description. So let's just start. Also I will use like shortcuts, so if I press F you will see it here. And if I press Shift D, it's not sh showing Shift, but it's like a big letter. So Shift B is like big B. So just keep that in mind because yeah, I won't go into every shortcut that I'm using because otherwise it will take too long. So let's start by deleting this cube. And first of all, we will create like this main body. So that will be very easy. For that, we will just go here to the top view. And first of all, we go here and import and we will import this image and we will use it as a reference and I press SS to make everything just much bigger and then like I want to make it transparent so I just press M. We have like this material here and we can just activate opacity and just bring it down a little bit. So now we will just create like this outer shape with circles and then connect everything. So yeah that's like a lot of fun. So first of all, I want to go to this view here. So like we have like the cylinder. So I go here and I will just create like a normal center circle, any um, size. And then I go back to the stop view and now we can select our circle. Oh, and first of all, so I don't select like all the time this plane. I will just select it with G, bring it just like um, down. So let's go again to the top view, select our circle, press G and bring it here to the front. And also just one more thing, let's bring this image to the middle. So yeah, we have can place our circle in the middle. So again G and just yeah, roughly to the middle. So something like that, perfect. So our circle selected, SS and we will adjust it here you see, so we bring it like to the edge. So now what we can do, shift D, so big D here, and we will bring this new circle to this form. So we will create like first of all like this big cylinder and then later make the cuts. So again, shift D and SS and yeah, like very straightforward. Let me just bring like that image like maybe a little bit more up. Yeah, so select the circle, make it bigger, select the circle, make it bigger and just adjust it. So you see we are building like kind of the cage, you know. So again like top view and again shift click and bring it here, shift click, bring it here, SS. So for S is for scale and double S is then you can just scale it like in all uh, directions at the same time. So here and again, just shift D, bring it here, shift D, bring it here, make it smaller. Again, shift D, shift D, adjust it just to the, yeah, just to the image plane. So again, shift D, very straightforward. Again, shift D, make it a little bit so with double S a little bit bigger, maybe even bigger. And again, just shift D. And a few more times, so shift D, make it just a little bit bigger. And now just shift D and bring it to the end because yeah, you could also just create two new circles, but I will just uh, make it with chamfer. Perfect, so right click. And now, yeah, <laughs> you see we have something very interesting here. So now we can just can connect like all of those distances because yeah, we could use like always extrude and extrude, but yeah, like I like it in this way here. So now we select the first circle with shift click the second circle and just press L. So we will just loft those um, edges. So again, we will do it like with everyone. So we select this circle and this circle with shift, press L, right click, confirm and the same for like every step. So yeah, select them, press L, right click to confirm. And we will do it with all of those parts. And the last one, select, shift, select, L, right click, confirm. And we have like kind of our body and we don't need our circles anymore. So I just press two 
and I just with shift click select all of those edges here to delete them. So because yeah, we don't really need them anymore. So all are selected, press X to delete them and cool. We have something like that. But now if we press tab, you see like all of those parts, they are separate. So what we can do is just right click and, um, yeah, like select every part deselect with control click like this image plane and just press J. J is for join. So now you see we have like one body and now we have like close right uh, um, holes and to close them we again like I activate like edges. So I select the body and here we have patch holes along edges or create patch from curves. Click that. Bam. We have like this body and now let's start first of all if we bring up uh, like the image plane. So if we bring up the image plane and go to the top view, let's create like this cuts here. So also very easy. We will just create like a corner rectangle and we will try to uh, yeah, get this size. So that looks fine. And we will here, you see, we have like some fillets. So select this rectangle, press B and give it like a very, very, very tiny um, fillet and now we can just array it along it so like clone it okay so we select this rectangle a rectangular array and you see we have too much so number just drag it to number four and you see it's aligning perfect now we want to mirror it on the other side so all of those are selected alt x and just press x y so why, why is the right direction? So we bring it to the other side, right click to confirm. And now we want to use those rectangles to cut this main body. So all of those are selected. Press just C, select this main body and you see it's cutting. So right click to confirm. And now all of those parts are selected and we can just press X to delete them. So now we can already give all of those uh, edges a fillet. So just select one edge. So I press Alt Z so I don't have an X-ray view and I will just select all of those outer edges here and then drag and give it like a tiny, tiny, tiny fillet. Perfect. So let's continue here with this part. So first of all, we will give it like a chamfer. So just select this edge and drag it. So not a fillet, but and um, yeah, chamfer and maybe adjust like a little bit like the angle. So it's like a little bit more, yeah, something like that. I think that looks very fine. And now we want like here, you see, we have like this angle and then a straight face and then like this mesh. So we select this outer edge, press O to make an offset and make the offset like very small, something like that. Right click confirm. And now if you go like to the face mode or just press three, we can select that face and just bring it in. And let's give again, press two so for edge mode and give all of those um, edges a little fillet. So it just looks nice and we have some highlights. So now let's create this mesh. Like, I don't know, like if you don't make like close up renders, you can also use just like a texture or something. But I just want to show you like a few uh, functions and yeah, we won't uh, like I won't do it like super detailed. I will just show you like in general how, yeah, like I found like a way to create the mesh. It's not 100 million percent perfect, but yeah, it definitely works. So what I will do is just uh, go to front view and press like that here. So now we have also the grid, uh, grid. So enable snapping. Uh, I mean, mean grid snapping. And now what I will just do is just create like a line and this line like here just pointed here then two points right two points uh, to the top so like a zigzag line right so something like that and just make it like always like in two steps yeah it doesn't matter how long it is because we will cut it so something like that right click confirm and now we want like to create like this um yeah, like, you know, like it's um, like this curves. So just press B so we can fill it everything and just drag a little bit around. Perfect. So 
something like that looks pretty fine for me. So now let's rotate and now let's just create like a pipe. So with P, you see, you get like this, um, yeah, this control here and you can drag it a little bit up. So outwards and you create like this, uh, yeah, pipe, spline or something like that. So right click and what we can do now is just press tab so we can select everything and select one of those, go to the top view and shift D to duplicate it and just G to bring it, um, yeah, here to the next grid. And again, just shift D to bring it again, again, shift D. Perfect. And now we can just uh, right click and select all four of them and press shift D and just again, bring them like to the grid right click so we can select all eight of them we don't need this curve that we've constructed this pipe so i just select those two curves here you see them and just press delete so i again select all of our new pipes here shift d and i will just uh, bring it here and yeah oh i did a little mistake so you see like we have to make it like one is like always like a little bit uh, further away than the other one, but no problem. So we can just select that one, that one, that one, and that one, go to the top view and just press G and just, yeah, because we have still the snapping, we just go to uh, places. So we have something like that and we see we have like, I don't know, something I messed up. So just delete like every second of those pipes with X. So perfect, we have something like that and let's just again top view, select them all, shift D and bring them just one more time. So yeah, we have something like that. Okay, that will be like very dense, but that's fine. And now what we can do, let's just select them all again, shift D to duplicate them. And yeah, it takes already a second and just press R to rotate and rotate them like on this blue axis and angle 90 degrees. So something like that and now right click to confirm it and now again just G and um, disable the snap to grid and yeah so we have to experiment a little bit like with the position but yeah anyway so we can try like to align it in the right way but like to have it a little bit short because you see we have already like a nice grid that works fine so now we go to the top view and now yeah we want like a circle right to to make it fit like here inside so we have like a lot of stuff we don't need so just go to the top view and create a circle and just go here roughly to the middle and just drag it like here to the outside yeah so perfect something like that right Right click, confirm and perfect. So now again, we can use that circle to cut into all of those bu uh, bodies. So the circle is selected, press C and select with right click dragging all of those pieces and just let it load. And you see already we get like those cuts. So right click to confirm. And now we can just select all of those bodies here so with right click and dragging because if you just with left click you can't select them so if you're from right click to left dragging you can select the whole bodies delete them with x the same for this this side delete, um, select them with x delete and again we select the um, circle press c and select all of those bodies here and again just right click uh, again, right click to confirm it and we can select all of those bodies, press X to delete it and all of those press X to delete it. We don't need the circle so we can also delete it and yeah, it looks a little bit messy, but that is not a problem. Um, yeah, what we can do, let's organize it. So we select all of those bodies. So you see all of those solids are selected and just press like this little icon so we can create like a group and all of those are like then here in this solid group perfect so what we can do now is just select them all r for rotate let's rotate them 90 degrees and let's go to the front view press g and 
bring it with control click to the middle. So when you drag it and you press control, you can just snap it here to the center. So SS to scale it down. Perfect. So something like that. And let's go again here to the side view, press G and just bring it here to the front. So we have something like that. Right click to confirm. And yeah, amazing. I like that. So let's have a look how it looks. Perfect. So yeah, you could make it even smaller, but yeah, I think that's absolutely fine. So now what we have to do, uh, we see like here we have like a cut and here also a cut. And then we just have to give everything a fillet and then we can go to the back and to the uh, other part. <clears throat> so I select my plane here, press H to hide it. Or uh, no, like I need it. So I go to my plane here, <clears throat> go to the top view and create a new line and yeah, drag it just where this cut is. Right click to confirm top view and the same here on the bottom. So yeah, roughly somewhere here. Cool. So now I select my plane, press H to hide it because I don't need it. And let's make that. So we select both of those curves, press C to cut this target body, right click to confirm. We can delete our curves and we don't see the edges. So just go here, right click and show edges. Perfect. So now let's uh, go to this body and select like um, this edge here and give it like a tiny fillet. The same for this body. So we can go to this part and give it also like a little fillet. And let's do the same here. So we select that part and just give it a little fillet. The same for this part. Maybe you have to zoom in a little bit. Perfect. And also let's give like to all of those connections here like a fillet. So we select all of our edges and also just give it like a tiny little fillet. So it looks like really nice. So let's have a look what we have. So we go here, show it. Perfect. So look at this highlights. Absolutely beautiful. Perfect. So let's continue. Like we can go here to this uh, back part. So again, you see, we just have like a little chamfer and then let's do like this uh, back part. So again, we select it, give it a negative chamfer. So yeah, something like that. And cool. So what we can do now is let's go here to the back again, just that plane. Or what you also can do is just select this plane here and just press space bar and you will directly like go to this plane. And what we can do is now again, just like import like that image from the back and make it just uh, bigger, bring it to the front with G. So let's bring it here. Again, press M so we can activate the opacity, bring it way down. Again, go to the front view and again, press G and just align it. So, okay, that looks fine for me. So let's bring it maybe just here to the front. Let's don't forget to give those little pieces also like a little fillet. So now you see, yeah, like we don't do like every little detail because that it will uh, take too long, but let's make the screws and like the holes. So we go to the uh, back view and first of all, let's create like, let's make like this, yeah, like cut. So we create like a nice uh, circle. Yeah. So roughly something about like that. And then just a new rectangle, but we need like, if we press and hold it, we need like this three point rectangle. So like, let's snap it here to the three fourth. Then again, like here to the intersection and just bring it out a bit. So now you see everything looks like super fine. Press T to trim those parts, select both curves, press J to join them and press G to bring it here to the middle. So yeah, it's a little bit uh, out of in the middle. So SS to make it a little bit bigger. And we will bring like our part here to the uh, top and we will just select this surface here and we will just yeah, go to somewhere like here. Okay, but this is fine. 
and let's give it here also like a little fillet so we will also have it then when we cut the body perfect so now we can yeah select like this curve delete it select this body alt x to mirror it to the ground so press z and now we can select our this little main body and select with shift click our two extra bodies press q and you see it will boolean it out so right click to confirm that looks fine let's give it like a little um, fillet so everything looks like nice and smooth and let's create like a very basic um, screw so first of all i select my image plane press h i go to this view here create a new circle and i have like here already like a center and i can yeah create something like that maybe right click let's drag it a little bit out and now we can select the surface and give it a chamfer and this chamfer we will fill it so we have like a nice rounding and we can delete the surface so yeah that looks okay and again let's go to this view create a new rectangle to the center press tab so you go in all direction at once so we have something like that right click press shift d to duplicate it r for rotation let's rotate it here 90 degrees right click to confirm and just press t and just delete those edges here right click select all of those edges with shift j to join b for give it a little fillet and now we can select just our main body and our surface and just bring it in and now we can yeah, select this piece here i just drag it a little bit out i select the main body i select like the surface and i just bring it in right click to confirm i take the main body shift click select this new body and press q so yeah we can again like uh, boolean it right click i can delete this curve and just give it like a little uh, fillet again perfect and again now just select the screw alt x on the z axis right click perfect so we have something like that and let's go to the back view and just make uh, a few little holes so let's bring back our image plane again perfect so just the circle let's create a new uh, circle and yeah i will hide my image plane and i can select this main body and i will just bring it a little bit outside and again just click on the face extrude it a little bit inwards and select this body and this body press q perfect so we have something like that i don't need that curve let's give it here like a little chamfer so perfect uh, this way and now let's select just like this inner circle and press shift d so now we have this curve uh, separately and just press o to offset it and let's offset it yeah to somewhere here and now we can just use like this surface here to extrude it and we will extrude it if you press Control click you can extrude it here so it's exactly the same uh, distance perfect now we just select again like those two edges and give it like a chamfer and yeah so now we want to bring it also on the other side so what we can do is just we select this main body press alt x then we have like this thing here and just press yeah like we want to mirror this side on the other side right click both are now separate so just press q for boolean and q here you see it for union right click to confirm and now just this little piece so again alt x and just yeah bring it here to this other side right click to confirm so that looks fine and i like that a lot and guys like that was 30 minutes but yeah it's like a, with explanation so you can create it like in five minutes perfect so let's create now like this holding part and yeah now we will um, use some other techniques so this tutorial is absolutely perfect uh, for learning like some basics so if you enjoy it like and subscribe because i will uh, make a lot of youtube videos on plasticity and give me some feedback what you want to see what you like like what you're missing i would appreciate it so let's continue what we will do let's select everything and first of all save it <laughs>
So this is like just our tutorial. Just save it. And so everything is selected. Create a new group. So this here, the group two is our microphone. So everything is like nice and organized. I have like here an extra group. I can delete it. Perfect. So let's hide it in our viewport. Go to our top view and import like that image that I made just with my phone. This one, because there we see also like this top part. So open it, just SS to make it much bigger. And again, just M opacity and bring the opacity down. And let's just with the G bring it, yeah, kind of in the middle here. But yeah, we will adjust it. So first of all, uh, yeah, we will work like now in, with splines. And yeah, this is so much fun. So we create a new circle, make it so it's like going to like this outside. So now our plane here, like, I mean, the image is uh, selected. So first of all, let's bring it just like here on the bottom a little bit. Let's go again to the top and just adjust like the image. So perfect. It fits like our circle and we can just go a little bit uh, to the right. And yeah, so something like that. So like our circle is like on the absolute outer edge. So now we select our circle and press O to, yeah, to create like this inner circle on the inside. So somewhere here, I guess, right click confirm and G let's bring it here. So you see, we have like this nice rounding here in the middle. So that looks fine. And maybe we can just bring it a little bit more down. So yeah, something, yeah, something like that. Now let's create a line and just connect this piece here with this piece because now we can just press T and delete this. So you see, we have, we will create first of all like this part and then attach like this inner part to it. And also here, what we have to do is create a circle, but create a two point circle. And now we can just drag it like from one side to the other side, right click to confirm. And also now to bring it on the other side, Alt X, press X. Perfect. And now T for trim and let's trim like those two edges here and also this inner edges here, right click. But now you see we have like a few extra points. So what we want to do is press one for point mode, just select this point. And just with G and control click, we want here to bring it to our beginning curve intersection, right click to confirm. And the same here on the other side, just select this point, G control click and add it here to our curve end. So now we can select this three curves here, press J. So now it's one curve and the same here, this curve with that and with that, press J. So, and also of course this one, press J. And we want to give it also here like a little uh, fillet. So press one, select those two points, press B and give it like a tiny fillet. We have like our inner part. And what we can just do now is just select it and press O. So we can offset it here to the middle. So yeah, like it's not really matching, but because like the image is like not straight. So that's fine. And what we can do now is select with the face mode, select this face and just drag it up a little bit. Yeah, because you see like it's not like it's like rectangular, right? Perfect. So let's create like this part here on the top. And yeah, because it's taking already too long, like I don't get like into every little detail and like this thickness and all that stuff. So that looks fine. And let's hide this curve that we just created and this inner curve, so just press H. So, I mean, let's select those two curves, press H, and let's just bring that to the middle, like of our uh, coordinate system. So press G and just here. So when you go up and down, press control click and snap it to the Y. So it's, you see like it's exactly in the middle. Now let's create like this uh, top part really, really fun. So we will create a line and we will just attach it here and 
go and follow just like the shape, like roughly. It doesn't have to be right now perfect. So yeah, we go a little bit outwards because here at this point we will uh, give it a fillet. So we have something like that. And also here and here, like I'm not sure if you see it like on YouTube, like the image below, but I think that should f work fine. Perfect. So now we want to snap it here to the middle because now we just go here to this middle and we will mirror it over. So for that, just go here to the origin, snap it and press shift. So you have like this construction plane. So this is very handy and perfect. So just right click and now press again just one. Select this point here and press B and create a fillet. The same for this point, create a fillet. And yeah, it's, <laughs> guys, it's so much fun. So just create here a fillet. It's just like, I don't know, it's just like Adobe Illustrator in 3D. Um, also this point, we give this point a fillet and this point, and oh my God, it's so much fun. And this point here, oh my God, I just love it. <laughs> And okay, so this whole spline is selected. Press Alt X as always to mirror it on the other side. Right click, both are selected. Press J and you should have one body, perfect. And just go again, points mode, select this point and press B to give it like a little fillet. And now let's close the spline. So we have to connect those two points. So again, just a line beginning to the end, right click, bam. You see, we have what we need. Okay, so now we have to yeah, extrude it and make it the same thickness. Um, first of all, I will select my, my plane here and just press H to hide it. So select this here and drag it down. And with control click, you can snap it here to this edge. And yeah, that should work fine. So right click to confirm. And this body and this body select them both. Q for Boolean and again Q for union them and right click. And yeah, you see, first of all, like this edge here on the top, we can hide it. We don't need it, but you see somehow here on the top, everything looks like nice and clean. So we don't have like an edge, but here somehow I'm not sure why. So what I will just do now, because I've tried it and we get like a little problem. So I just go here to the side view and just create, yeah, like a line. And I will just use that line to cut that body, right click. And now we can just delete like this bottom part here and also our edge. So you see now everything looks fine and we don't have like any, yeah, like any, any extra edge here because when we fill it now, we don't get any problems. And now if you want to make it again a little bit thicker, absolutely no problem. You just click select this face and just drag it and make it like a little bit thicker. So let's see how it is like in the original. But yeah, that's absolutely fine. Maybe not so thick, something like that. So let's select those two image, uh, edges here. Give it a little fillet. And yeah, now the absolute most <laughs> fun part is to give it all the fillet. So we just select, yeah, so I had a little break, sorry. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know where we ended, but now let's give it a fillet. So let's start just with that edge. And, oh, you see, we get here like some little issue. So like it worked before. I don't know why it's not working now, but yeah, like here is something you see. It's like not absolutely straight, but then no problem. You can just select this edge and this edge. So we will like edge like one time this way around and the other time the other way around. So it should work now perfect. So create um, fillet here. Let's create the fillet here on the top. Yeah, you see something is a little bit off here, but no problem. So we can select this edge and this edge and just fillet those. Perfect. And now let's do the same for the inside. So we can, yeah, no problem at all here. And let's go to the bottom and our last edge here. So something like that. Perfect. That looks fine. Let's have a look with this red material. And yeah, look, <laughs> that looks so cool. Perfect. And yeah, obviously guys, you have like a little bit more detail here and all that stuff, but you can do that. But yeah, like to keep it a little bit shorter and yeah, it's like perfect. So 
Now let's create like, yeah, like here this part. And again, it has like a lot of detail, but yeah, to keep it a little bit short because yeah, it's already uh, taking like a lot of time. But yeah, I will show you like an awesome technique here, how we can create like this ripple thing. I don't know how it's called. So let's go here to the front view and create a new circle from the center. So yeah, roughly something like that. And now let's extrude it. So again, extrude it a tiny bit. So let's have a look how this looks like in the original. Yeah, so maybe even a tiny bit more. And now, oh man, this is why I love so much CAD modeling. And uh, yeah, like much better than polygon modeling. Because what we can do now is just very simple. We can create a new circle, like a small one outside here. And just bring it in, yeah, so somewhere here. So we want, like always, cutting out this target body, but we want it everywhere. So right click confirm, and here you have like this radial array. Press the radial array, make it here to the center. And now you see we have them like here on the outside, but we need like many, many more. So yeah, something like that, I guess. So yeah, like 28. Oh no, 27, because I'm now 27, so that's fine. So right click to confirm it and all of them are selected and what we will do now exactly cut it into this body so press c select this target body and you see we're getting what we want right click to confirm everything is selected what we've cut it out so press x to delete it and bam awesome <laughs> so what we can do now is just go to edge mode and select all of those edges and guys just look press b you have like this little thing here and bam. So yeah, obviously like we need a little bit more rounding. So just play a little bit around like with the uh, uh, circle radius, but yeah, that looks absolutely fine. So let's just give it like a little piece here on the bottom. So that will be also very fast. Create a new circle, just center it, right click, just um, extrude it out a tiny bit. And let's go again like back to the back view and create a new rectangle. Press tab. Let's make it, yeah, tiny bit bigger. Right click B for filleting in. Right click to confirm. Select this face. Drag it a little bit out. Perfect. So we can delete this and this. Press X. Let's give this two edges like a little fillet. Perfect. So yeah, now we can connect them all or, or not. And let's do like this little part here on the top. So we select this body, this body, this body, press G, bring it just a little bit back. And again, just create a new um, circle. So yeah, roughly something like that. Right click and just extrude it, control click, and here to the center of our, of this body here. And also here, we can give it a little fillet. We can deselect that. And now let's bring everything together. So maybe we can make this whole pieces tiny bit smaller. So SS, press G and just bring it here to the front. Select them all, create a new group. Let's call it a uh, holder, I don't know. And let's bring back our microphone. So what we have to do now is like our holder is uh, selected. So we select all of the bodies, press R, rotate it 90 degrees. We will rotate it here 90 degrees. And also on this axis here. So again, 90 degrees. And perfect. So now let's just adjust it to this place here. Bring it a little bit down. And also bring it to the middle. So again, we drag it here and bring it to this middle and bring a tiny bit down. Press SS to make everything a little bit bigger. Right click G and just here. And let's have a look. Awesome guys. So <laughs> we've created like that. And I don't know, like for you 40 minutes, but with talking, like I've created that before, like in five minutes or 10 minutes or something. 
So that looks absolutely amazing. Like, look how clean this is. Like, look of uh, all of those edges. And yeah, it, it's just so, so much fun. So I hope you like it. Leave a like and subscribe and let me know what you think. If you want to see like more of these tutorials and yeah, what you want to learn. And yeah, just let me know and see you in the next one. Have a nice day. Bye.